Hi, Oscar and uh, Elin. Hi. So, hey. tell me a bit, how has the um, COVID-19 pandemic affected your work? Elin, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, working with uh, Agenda 2030 and uh, climate action within the Nordic collaboration, uh, we're doing that mostly uh, by supporting and studying how regional and local authorities uh, try to implement that Agenda 2030. This, that is the Global Sustainable Development Agenda. And that COVID-19 situation that has arose uh, pro proves that there are definitely need for development and innovations in how we as humans and societies relate to Earth, both in we need to have new types of innovations and new types of policy situations regarding financial solutions, planning situations, uh, how governance, how we make decisions, mm -hmm. and and also the everyday life activities that are that is affected. But we can learn a lot from this situation we are in. Right, mm. Oscar, do you have any thoughts on this? Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's also. Um, uh, it has shown that regional uh, development and regional analysis uh, matters because uh, this pandemic has really exposed uh, some of the economic and cultural gaps within our societies uh, in the way that the virus has had impact on health and social economy. And these uh, discrepancies exist both at national level down uh, to district levels where we can examine how the way this is spreading. And uh, Nordrege has a really good expertise uh, and toolbox for identifying and studying these differences uh, in, a, in a full range of, of projects. Uh, and we we'll also have uh, a few uh, uh, relevant future projects uh, looking at this. So uh, that's where we can really contribute uh, to, uh, to studying these phenomena. Definitely. Do you have some example on, on future changes in our work? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the, like the break in the economy that has ha happened due to this pandemic that gives decision makers on both local, regional and national levels and also transnational levels. They have given them room for reflection around the need to use sustainability and st sustainable development as the core for rebuilding societies and economy. Mm. Oscar, do you see any changes like in, in the future of our work? I see an increasing re relevance for all the work we are doing um, and, and more or less all our projects are related to sustainable development in some sense. Mm. Uh, so here I think that coronavirus has put the light on uh, these uh, the, the need of these types of analysis that Nord Regio and Nordic Council of Ministers are producing and have been producing for, for uh, have been producing. Um, but from an environmental and climate perspective, I mean, we could also find some positive uh, impacts or positive con consequences of the pandemic. Um, and, it, and the reason for that is that, that the pandemic has decreased some of the activities that we humans do that are degrading to the Earth's resources and the emissions of carbon. And I think we can learn from that situation and to use that to, to the situation is at hand and try to use that to build more physical structures that are enabling people to live more environmental sustainable in their everyday life. Mm -hmm. Well, and that we can do that by using it for how we can plan new cities and regions that are more environmental friendly, that encourage this type of environmental friendly behavior. And that is something we definitely could do, to work more on at Nordrio. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for your time.